and let's get started. And it does it as a spin point, so you need to make sure to not do stuff. Like, you need to make sure not to quit next time. And the music begins. We'll call the different colors. There are lots of snakes and stray dogs around the net. Is American allowed to just run around doing whatever they want? I'm here to protest. Oh, well, whoops. Let me do that. So we need to stop hearing this. You look like someone who's gonna do something big. Thank you so much for all your help. Hey, what's your name? I'm so busy with my election that I don't have time to meet with you. Uh, of course. Next election, please give a speech supporting Mayor Kirkle. <laughs> I need to find where the heck I'm gonna. I'm supposed to be going. In that direction or so, maybe? That's pizza. Hospital. I saw it somewhere. Not here, I don't think. See what's in this person. Now wait a minute, youngster. I'd give you a great hand for just 35 bucks. You'd like it, wouldn't you? No. So you're telling me that you don't want to hit? You're either awfully confident or $35 is too much to pay. You a young man who was very like you was very unusual. He says, if you haven't need a hit, come on back. Come here all the time.
Okay, and there we are. So here you are. You're that little delinquent that came back from Giant Staff. Now you listen here. Don't enter mean just that. Do not enter. You got that? And furthermore, blah, 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 blah. It's usually those tax evaders who blah, 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 blah. We don't enjoy blogging off the roads, you know. Blah, 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 blah. It's usually the local wires to make a big deal about the purchase meter, right? Blah, 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 blah. Okay then. Why is the road to Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. Times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Anyway, are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Yeah. Okay, follow me. Show me what you got. See if you can get past five of my best men. Yeah! Hey, small fry, you must be shaking in your boots. Hey, Tag! Yes. Yeah, police brutality time. And he turned back to normal. The enemy left a prison. Inside the prison, there is a hamburger. You're tough. You should join the police force. Your average policeman is stronger than any superhero. I will see. We'll see about that. And there that one goes. Oh, you won. Don't let the mayor's compliments give you a big head. Bring it on, fat boy. Ugh. Now I'm wondering if Ness is, is actually fat, just, but not depicted that way usually, or I don't usually just consider he doesn't look that way to me, or, or something, or, eh. Let's do this again, or he's just being, trying to be rude or something. Let's do this again sometime. Next time, I'll take you out with my nuclear suplex attack. What even? Come on, I'm gonna take you apart right here, right now, baby. Wow. <laughs> Smash attack when it wasn't helpful, like, much like Chris. Oh, he's meant to be somewhat pudgy canonically. Okay. Good to know. <sighs> I lost. That's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm going to call for my boss. Oh, wow. There's no way I can beat you in a straight competition, so... Get ready for my Super Ultra Mumbo Tango Thanks to... Mar Tango Foxtrot Mar Martial Arts Sumta? Sumta? <laughs> Cam Strong Attack. Oh boy. Yep, right there. Whew! This music's nice.
How oh, cool. One without taking any damage. I didn't think you would do so well against the Mighty Onet Police Force. You want to want me to open the road too soon? Hang on a sec. I'll radio my staff and give them the word. Beep beep. Click. Strong here. Do you read me? Hey, it's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen, a kid named Ness will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to open the road to Tucson for him. I know that. I know that. Don't ask me why. Just do it. That's an order. Strong out. Well, kid, I'm not going to question you now. But I do want to see you again. Good luck. Whoopsie. And now... Hey, aren't you Ness? Well, I got the okay from Chief Str Trying to let you through. Take care of yourself. Uh, I think I have a baseball cap regardless of where I got it. Yes, I have a baseball cap. I did not get it for... I did not get it from the treehouse. I bought it. You're doing well. Keep it up. The town map can be checked out at the library. You can also use the map in Tucson. It's really useful. Oh, it is? Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure I'll get a bet. Well, hmm. Is it better than what I can buy in Tucson? Because I'll probably just buy that at this point instead. I'm trying to remember what all the music that happens is. There's the the music that plays for the black antoids. And, wait, hold on. I live rent-free in the mouse's house. The mice are known as exit mice. They're very kind and boy are they fast. I really love these guys. I might do an exit mouse thing later, but not for now. Mushrooms. The rambling evil mushroom. I have a mushroom on my head. What does this thing do anyway? I remember it being really annoying, but...
Oh, inverse controls. Okay. Isn't doing that now, thankfully. Here we are in Tucson. Oh wait, of course it's doing it now. Oh hey, look who it is. Picture's taken instantaneously. I'm a phot photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, fuzzy pickles! And the mushroom disappeared. <laughs> Okay, at least I know what it's- yeah, I'm heading- that's where I'm heading. Blue-haired guy, I think. But I need to get stuff from the ATM first. Wait, right, attack a party member, heal enemy, oh boy. So you may not believe it, I'm a healer. If you have some illness that cannot be treated to the hospital, it's my job to cure you. Hey, now that I noticed, could you sell me the mushroom growing on top of your head? Come on, let's make a deal. Sell. Yep. Cool! Okay! He just sells it to you. Nice! Six hundred. That that should be enough, hopefully. Oh, uh, oh! I mistook you for a customer. Would you like to return something? No. Doesn't let you walk on the escalators. I'm disappointed, games. May I help you? What should I get you? Bread roll. A hamburger. I'll let Ness eat it. I'm glad I'll be getting more party space soon. Can I help you? Oh, teddy bear, I'm getting the one. Teddy bear, yay! Slingshot it is! Thank you. 
Um, yeah. Can't play with those, um, looks like. Let's see what's in the cycle shop. This is a cycle shop, puncture. Bicycles are so much fun and they're so convenient. It's a lot faster than walking. It'll be really popular with the biking crowd. Do you want a bicycle? Unfortunately, we don't have any more bikes for sale. We only have rentals. Do you want to rent one? I really like your straightforward style. I'll tell you what. I'll let you borrow a bike for free. You have too many items. Why don't you get rid of something and come back? I know you want it now, but my hands are tied. We'll look at that later then. Oh, and hey, taxi. Chaos Theater. I'm starting to line here. I want a ticket for today's show, but I may not get it. We, that's right, we are the Runaway Five. We're popular, but not rich. We're being cheated by this theater, and we're really deep in debt. Really popular. A girl lives at the house with the preschool is the talk of the town. I want to see her someday. <clears throat> there was a kidnapping. Believe me, even though I'm just a dog. Woof! And I think this is where the kindergarten... Well, I wanted to play with Paula, but she's gone somewhere. Whistle, whistle anywhere. It makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula. She is a guardian angel, it seems. If you have time to read this, go to the Chaos Theater immediately. <laughs> wow. Oh, there's some sort of... Oh, never mind. That's... Yeah, let me... Go to the Chaos Theater. I know I need to do something here. The one of me five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They have to be here for a hundred years. Unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> Hello, please present your ticket. I guess I lost my ticket, so now I can't get in. The ticket counter at the department store was even sold out. Yeah, that's right. We are the runaway... F I'm 
trying to remember what to do. Main floor and balcony seats are sold out. We only have box seats, which cost $20. Would that be okay? Wait, the box seats sold out a long time ago. Oops, my mistake. The box seats are the most popular. Oh, boy. We'll just see what happens if we try going to three. Oh, Apple Kid. Apple Kid and Orange Kid are people I should talk to. Well, I have sort of neglected doing my housework. I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway, I'm an Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I may, may be kind of stinky. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? Yep. What can you give me? Hamburger! Thanks. You seem very nice. Uh, I wonder if maybe you'd like to invest some money in my inventions? Yeah! Yes, yes, yes. Oh, excuse me. I mean, thank you. By the way, I could really use 200 bucks. Yes. Thank you. I won't let you down. I'm a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. Ness got the receiver phone. Oh, I must be in your way. Zip. That was odd. Greetings, I'm Orange Kid, the inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit embarrassed about my reputation. I have a lot of inventions to develop, but I'm running short of cash. I'm basically a happy-go-lucky person, so I'm not worried. You know, I'm working on this machine that'll really help you in, in peaceful Rest Valley. Hope it's ready soon. What? You're actually willing to help finance the project? Hmm. Well, let me see if I... I don't think I did this before. Let me see. See if I want to. Okay, good to know. I guess I was just too hopeful. Oh well, never mind. But good to know. Good to know I just need need to do with Apple Kid. Paul isn't here. She suddenly left, and I don't know where she went. Oh cool. You meet the cranky lady. And she turned back to normal. Cool. Paralysis Alpha.
annoying old party man. Oh, joy. New Age Retro Hippie. This music's new. There goes the teddy bear, I think. Oh, or maybe not. Huh, it is. Oh, wow. Didn't expect it to be called literally New Age Retro Hippie. I think this is my favorite wild and wild. Like, I think this is my favorite battle music. What's this one called? Dang it. They encountered the thing. Poor teddy bear. It's just times, but I think the ghosts in the tunnel don't like anything upbeat and cheerful. When I was driving in the tunnel, I was playing some grooving tunes and the ghosts moved slower. I think the ghosts can't stay anything positive. Hmm. Oh, battle against a weak opponent, gotcha. Let me try... I think I'll head to the hotel to heal. Oh, okay, battle against a weird... Okay, gotcha. Battle against a weird opponent, battle against a weak opponent. I did have a feeling that... I had heard something about the bat That it was battle against a weird opponent or something. Or, well, weird... Like, I had... I knew the... I had the feeling it had weird somewhere in the name. Fifty bucks. Okay then. Why not? Ness. Ness. 
Yes, I'm a friend who you've never met before. My name is Paula. Dean. Can you hear me calling you? I am Paula. I don't know what that was. How about reading the newspaper before you go? Here is this morning's Tucson Tribune headline. Ghost found to inhabit tunnel to three. Person. Oh, why don't we chat later after we lock doors? Ever dread. Dang it. What's this music for? Ah. Cool. I lost my hamburger. Oh well. Yes, I'm ever dread. Back at Boss of Berglund Park. Well, I jumped off the roof. I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. You know if you want to find out about a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in the peaceful Rest Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit that kidnapped her though. They said they were gonna make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. You're definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might be gone already. You better hurry. If you say Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Now, which way to Peaceful Rest Valley? Checking the wiki thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Happy, happy village ahead. Oh, here we go. Peaceful Rust Valley ahead. Proceed through cave. Mole sprout time. And there we go. Oh, joy. PSA Magnet's gonna be a pain. Hum de dum de dum hum de dum dum dum. I'm hunting for mushrooms. I'm gonna collect a ton. Well, maybe I can get her some. No problem here. Oh joy, cold. There we go. Cool. Crossbridge to Happy Happy Village. But it's closed. For some weird reason, a pencil-shaped iron statue is blocking the path. Herm. Well, at least it's only one for now. Well, there's one down. Is 
Sí. Hello, this is the Apple Kid. I just finished work on this great invention. Get over here as fast as you can. This thing is so cool. See you soon. Slam. PSI Magnets. Again. Let's see if I can find a butterfly. Oh, dang it. New Age Retro Hippie. Looking for that so called genius applicant? As a true genius, I'll tell you that he's in Berglin Park looking for you. Will you stuck up? Here's the applicant. I'm feeling really out of because I've been working all night. Finally, the pencil eraser is ready. This machine will eradicate all pencil-shaped figures in just one second. It's incredibly powerful. Just don't use it near a shop that sells pencils. Here is yours now. It's got the pencil eraser. If I invent some other brilliant iron, I call, I'll call you. Hey, you gotta expand your mind and use this stuff creative. I'll buy some of my junk. Um, let's see. So what do you like, Mom? Oh! So I have to take my small spawn to be able to make good use of this here. Let me go... Get stuff out of an ATM. I'll go buy another teddy bear.
Cool. There we go. Only twenty. Only a gain of twenty. Oh well. At least they didn't sprout. One's done. Good.
Poor teddy bear. this. Okay. Yeah, I kind of need to do that at that point. Let's use the pencil eraser. For some weird reason, the iron pencil statue is erased. Yay! It's that moving. Okay, now what's this thing? What slingshot? Why must you be so inaccurate?
This is luck run up by one, yay. Charm, okay. Let me try and find get a map. Okay, there we are. Oh, joy. Whew. And spinning robo is gone. UFO. Good. Didn't know spinning robo could do that though. Coil snakes. Welcome to Happy Happy Village. I am not your enemy, and just a plain old mole. You were certainly stronger than you were while wandering around the mat. Have you ever suddenly gotten the U1 message when you met a weak enemy? That's your fire proof that you become stronger. You don't want to waste your time fighting wimpy enemies, do you?
One day, Mr. Carpenter re received a revelation. He now speaks the real truth. Excuse me, tourist. I'm collecting donations to help protect the world from contaminants. Donate whatever you can. Now, I'll be your shadow then. Oh dear. Do you want to talk to Mr. Carpenter directly? You must think you're pretty important, and boy, you have a lot of nerve. You deserve to be struck by lightning. Blue, blue. I wish for everything in this world to become blue. I'm monitoring those who don't pay at the food stand. I think those who won't paint everything blue are opposed to peace. I want them all to listen, even if it requires kicking their butts. All of our products are blessed. Blue Blue Drugstore. We trust you. Feel free to shop here. What would you like to buy? Oh, okay. And so we have a cultist. Let's see if we can get her to stop if we do that. Your good deed will be rewarded. Here's a postcard for you. I wanted to give you a postcard, but you can't accept it. You have too many items. Okay, then. Mr. Carpenter communicates with the Divine, so he's able to deliver inspired messages. It's a blue cow. We're all like one big happy family here in Happy Happy Village. Basically, our policy is to only allow family members to stay here in the village. However, if you're interested in learning about Happy Happyism, we may make an exception and let you stay for 50 bucks. Now, never ever heard such disrespect. Get out and stay out. Huh, just two spiteful crows.
Are you Ness? Ness, I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Ness was my destiny. I know it's hard to believe. Therefore, I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have had to try to bust you out, bust out of here. You can't open the door. You'll have to get the key from Carpenter. He's got it hidden away. Heard Carpenter can control lightning. In that case, you should wear this Franklin badge, okay? Wait here until your turn. Come back here and get me out once you defeat Car Painter. Don't worry about me. Just kick butt like I know you can. Franklin Badge. By keeping it as one of your items, deflects a lightning attack back at the attacker. Okay, so you just need to keep it so it isn't part of your thing. Just. Hey, Ness! You're just here to bother me, aren't you? You can call me Master Pokey. Since Mr. Carpenter made me an important person in Happy Happyism. You should join us, but I know you won't. I'm glad I joined. I'm not gonna fight you, but these guys will. Later, potato. Okay, so do cold this in the spiteful crow for some reason. And I attack. And now they're gone. Must think you're pretty important, and boy, do you have a lot of nerve. Zerti, struck by lightning. She's. Let's wait for her to. This is very disorienting. Blue, blue. What, I'm blocking you? Oh, okay, I'll move out of your way. Okay then. It's 
17. Cool. Don't bother us. We're in the middle of prayer. Okay, I'll move out of your way. Go quickly. Blue, blue. I'll stand somewhere else. Blue, blue, blue. Now I wonder what this music is. Green, green. Oops, that's not it. I'm still new at this. Blue, blue. I'm trying to learn how to whistle. I heard that whistling makes one smile. I'll practice over there. Blue, blue. You strange on that fella. Don't go to heaven. I screamed, because I didn't know what else to do. Thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help make the world blue and change it into a happy and peaceful society. Leave my right hand assistant? No. If you don't want to be my right hand, my left would be just fine. Just kidding. Your existence is a problem for me and my religion. Defy me, and I'll end your pitiful game. The painter's lightning was reflected by the Franklin badge. Cool! Didn't hit anyone. Didn't hit anyone. Franklin Budge affected the lightning. 4,842 damage from the propane. That was easy. Do you see the Money Money statue behind me? Since I got the statue, I've been doing peculiar things. Please forgive me if you can. I just wanted to have a normal life. I apologize to everyone. Here's the key to open the jail in the mountain cabin where Paul is being held. Take the key and go. Your backpack is full. You should take this even if you need to throw away one of your items.
There we go. Smith got the key to the cabin. So you're the boy that, that you went after Mr. Carpenter and you're awesome. Looks like almost everyone woke up and left. There are only three people remaining. I don't want to stay. I'll get out of here. Sorry about everything. Let's be buddies. What a horrible nightmare. I somehow woke up. Yes, let's be friends again. Please answer me. I promise to be good. Uh, okay. I lied. See ya, sucker. Uh, of course. Mr. Carpenter was pretty strange, but so was everyone else. It was hard on the eyes to have everything blue. Things still look pretty blue. Ness, you got the key! Are you hurt? I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused you. Thank you, Ness! You're just like I imagined you would be. I'm sure that some people in Tucson are worried about me. Getting back there may be dangerous, but we can do it if we combine our strength. I'm able to use a little psychic power that is actually pretty deadly. Let's head back to Tucson. Paula joined you! With the teddy bear. Oh. Picture's taken instantaneously. I'm a photo photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Buzzy Pickles! Wow, what a great photograph. It will we'll always bring back the fonts to memories. Paul is only level one, okay. This will be interesting. I mean, it makes sense. Ness has been traveling a lot longer than her.
Yay! Let's see what level. Let's see what happens to Paula. Okay, cool. Oh boy. Well, there went the teddy bear. I'm going on auto fight. Oh boy. Well, that's good. And now Paula is like this. The bridge is okay now though, so cool. Oh boy.
And there goes little UFO. Blue, blue. Oops, I won't say it again. I fixed the bridge as a sign of apology. I've been trying to help. Okay, now we have a four. This is annoying. Peace I brave FaceTime. Good. Good.
No, well, uh, hold on. Okay, gonna need to get the thing. Hold on. Okay, good. I can't. I can't buy stuff for Paula. Hello there. How may I help you? Here's the hospital then? Let me get some more money and then we'll I'll get some more stuff to follow. First, you must take your- oh, right. That's something to get you, so be sure to come back. Promise? Alright.
Okay, so that's where Polestar is. Woohoo! I knew it! You saved Paula! I don't really understand it, but I know that Paula's miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand up to any challenge. Paula, if you must take a trip, be sure to bring this along. It's my very own handmade band-aid. Ooh, that rhymes. I know, I'll call it a handmade. Paula got the handmade. Did you need Dad? He started to expect Mr. Evadro to further go apart. Band-Aid. A handmade band-aid. He also ruined his body. Gone after one use. <laughs> Oh, Paula! Yes, thank you so much. You must be the boy who will save the world like in Paula's dream. Paula, I'm sure you'll be a big help to okay. Yes. It's not every day a father lets his daughter embark on a journey to save the world. Dad, don't worry about me. Yes, now we'll be able to take care of ourselves. In three, the next town will meet another friend. The three of us can combine our power, no one can beat us. Now wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smell before we take off. Goodbye, Paula. Don't worry. I won't cry anymore. Exclamation point. Hello, Ness? Everdread is looking for you. He's got something for you. I was going to ask you to be my partner, but I know you'll refuse. It's written all over your face. If you accept it, I was going to give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now anyway. Let me give this to you. It's $10,000. Use the money any way you like. You cannot refuse my generosity. Just accept it. Now I plan on looking for the evil Monty Money statue that, that Liar X aggregate on Earth to know that. Well then, I'll see you another another time, another space. Paula got the wad of bills. Well then. Well, it makes sense, you... That you have it as an item. The Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. Not be here for a hundred years unless you decide to pay off the debt. <laughs> Pardon? You want to talk about money? How about later, after the show, even if we're talking big bucks? I got definite rules about how I handle my money matters. I'll use the water bills, but nothing happened. You're with a girl today. You must be pretty popular. How about introducing her to my bandmate? He's right there. Hey, you came with Paula. Do you deserve a present, playboy? Here's a backstage pass. You can get into our shows with this. Okay, then. Uh, here he is. Again. Just taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fonts to memories. And I think I'll say I think I'll save that concert for next time, but Hello, this is Escargo Express. Oh, is that you, Ness? Big bro! It's me, Tracy. I'm working part-time for Escargo Express. What can I do for you? 
Klick. Here's a person. Hello, this is Discover Express. Your delivery charge is 18 bucks. You can cover the bill, right? What do you want me to take? I can take up to three things. Let's see, pencil eraser. Will there be anything else? Uh, Franklin badge too. I just confirmed your request. You got me to take the pencil eraser or the Franklin badge? Is this correct? All right, certainly. Thanks a lot. Yes, it's your dad. A deposit in sixteen fifty in your bank account. Taking away what you spent, you should now have one hundred one thousand one hundred fifty-seven in the bank. Well, XP gets the next level. Ness, 66.5. Paula, 54. Hey, what do you need from me? All done. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I've created a record of your adventures to this point. Good night, sleep tight. Ness, you like to work hard, just like your mother. But I don't think it's good to work too hard. Click, beep, beep, beep. Well, anyway... Even though that's the end of the call, that'll be the end for the stream, so... Until next time, this is Corvus Atrox, signing